Hello everyone, welcome back to this new video, this quick video about how to manage a high density of users in a network, uh, an existing network, uh, using Unify Access Points. We're going to see how in this uh, example network, we're going to see how um, 500 uh, in average users um, behave and we have identified certain places of this institution to be critical points where people go and lose connectivity due to uh, losing or not uh, receiving any IP from the DHCP server. Many of us have uh, experienced this problem with cost with many of the of the hardware of Unify, especially when you're running APLR, long range, uh, AC light and some others. Uh, right here we're going to show you the ones that we use, AP right here and AC light. Uh, the AP is a long-range version. We're going to adopt uh, APC Pro, AC Pro, and we're going to see how um, we can actually improve our network performance. We're not going to see any differences or important differences uh, aside from receiving these gaskets that we can place over here and that can provide us with some hermetically sealed um, connections. Um, we can see that this is a little bit heavier than the um, the access point, the normal access point, or the AC light. We're going to use another another access point. is the Unify AC HD, which also handles uh, two radios. Um, we're going to unpackage right here, uh, and you're not going to see much differences between these and the access points that uh, that you were using before in case that you were using AP long range or AP AC light. Um, besides, of course, the the power over Ethernet adapter that is going to work on 48 volts as we can he see here in this picture. And um, basically that's it. The rest is going to be the same. Also the gasket that is going to provide us with some protection for water. And um, you're going to see this is a little bit heavier also. Uh, you can see the architecture of these two devices is a lot, a lot better than the other ones. Uh, Unify specifies that these two, uh, these two devices handle 500, 500 users for the HD and 200 users for the for the pro version of the access point. We're going to see in these two high-speed videos, or, or we can recommend you that you organize uh, in the controller the number of users um, in a descending way so you can see and identify which are the parts of your network that require attention. Let's see now the high-speed videos. We're going to see right here this video that shows us how users migrate from one place to the other one uh, in your network. Unify controllers can also identify which ones are the, the access points that require or that are using more bandwidth but it's not quite the same as having the number of users that sometimes are going to be placed in one place of your network or your facilities than another one. The, a lot of us have experienced that clients are not receiving IP addresses correctly that are connected to the network but are not successfully connected to the web, meaning that uh, this access point is not being able to handle so many connections at a, at a given time. This is another very quick video that shows us how users are migrating from one place to another one. Remember that this, um, the time of this video is being changed to about 400% of the original speed, not the time, but the speed. Mm. We are seeing how successfully we have addressed our needs. That means that when we have migration of users from one place to another one, right here, we can see up to 165 users. And in some other cases, we have reached up to uh, about 250, 260 users with no problem. Okay, of course, remember that this depends on the, on the version of the access point that you're using. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Remember that we have a lot of uh, very interesting videos regarding uh, access points and high density of users, as well as configuration and initial configuration in the latest controllers. See you next time, and I hope this video was of any help.